People are streaming out of Ritchie Coliseum after Ron Paul's finished speaking. Anybody tell me why they came to see Ron Paul? He's Just a see man. What he to say. He's a boss. He He's the modern Braveheart. <laughs> How you doing? Doing well. Can you tell me why you came here to see Ron Paul? Because he is good. You support his policies of ending the yes, bad. Yes, he does. Because he follows the Constitution. Pueblo. That's why. Pueblo. Pueblo. Thank you. All right. Can you tell me why you came here to see Ron Paul? No comment. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you tell me why you came here to see Ron Paul? We support him. Thank you. I like your EWE shirt. Excuse me. Can you tell me why you came here to see Ron Paul? Because, oh God, you got me on the spot here. sort of uh, changes your life, you know. It's kind of a, you think about what, what person has a huge effect on your life, and you know. He's to see him in person, you know, it's, it's hard to turn down. If someone, asked, if someone asked me what celebrity would I want to meet, it would be Ron Paul out of any celebrity in the world. Because he is for liberty and peace, and that's, he is the one. He's the only one that can save us. Because he's the only one that does what he says. You know. He's the only honest one. There's no one else I could possibly want for president. So he, he, so he means the reason you support him because he means what he says to, to restore our constitution. Absolutely. Yeah, he's got 30 years behind him to prove it. You know, it's uh, it's tough to argue with that. You know, you got a record behind your back. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. That's right. He's amazing. What, what do you think about the way the media treats him? It's abominable. It makes me sick. Just, they say any, any news is good news, and they, they hardly even give them bad news. I mean, I'd, I'd even take that over anything, but you know, they, it, it is, it's like they're coordinated to not give them airtime or something. It's, it's amazing. It's hard, it's hard to swallow. It makes me upset, but I just tell people look on the internet for it instead of TV. There are, it's all rigged. Do you, do you think, so, so you think it's, a, it's, it's quite possible that the uh, results have been manipulate, manipulated and fraudulent? Yeah. Sure, yeah. The, there's videos of like uh, county chairman like specifically saying we want, you know, we don't want Rob Paul's delegates to win this thing. And it's kind of, you know, to see it from the establishment itself, like just openly saying it, you know, it's, it gives you a bad feeling inside. You know. it's, is the establishment going to totally destroy this country? Do you think the establishment is going to totally destroy this country? I think they're trying, for sure. It's a scary world right now. It's actually pretty scary. That's why I... It's definitely a coordinated effort. You can't be uh, inept and have this many things go in your favor. So it's, it's definitely a, a malicious uh, intent behind all this. And you've got to fight it. you got to get the word out. It isn't, isn't it really just to bail out their, all their uh, their friends? And then, isn't it really to bail out all their friends and to, to to keep the to keep the illusion going that what they're doing works? 
I don't understand. Sure, yeah. I mean, since they own the media, our, our perception is that everything is, you know, the, the system is working fine, and that's how things are supposed to be, and we just don't understand the process. We don't understand how simple it is, or how complex it is, and Ron Paul really breaks it down. It really is that simple, and if, if everybody understood it in terms where it's laid out in front of you, and it's not the media telling you what to believe, then uh, I think it'd be a much safer, better world. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Thank you.